Ngayon naman, i-apply naman natin yung mga properties ng integrals para mag-evaluate ng mga definite integration. Like in this example, I have the first integral, which is the integral of f of x dx from 0 through a is equal to 37. At yung aking second given integral, meron akong integral of gx dx from 0 through a, which is equal to 16. Now that I have these two given integrals, kailangan ko daw i-evaluate or hanapin itong integral of 2 f of x plus 3 g of x dx from 0 through a. Now, to evaluate this integral, gagamitin ko yung mga properties of integral na natutunan natin before. Like, itong unang to, since addition lang siya, pwede natin siyang paghiwalayin, meron akong 2 and the integral of f of x dx from 0 through a plus Itong 3 na constant, pwede ko siyang ilabas, kaya meron akong 3 and the integral of gx dx from 0 to a. Now, mapapansin nyo na itong integral notation na to ay eh equal daw to 37 based dun sa given problem natin. Kaya pwede ko siyang isubstitute and replace this integral notation by 37. At since yung second integral notation ko, which is the integral of g of x dx from 0 to a, is equal to 16, pwede kong replace yung integral na to with 16, and by simplifying my equation, 2 times 37 plus 3 times 16 will give me 122. So therefore, yung integral nitong notation na to is basically equal to 122 using the properties of integration. Now, another way of presenting integral problems using the properties of integrals will be this particular problem. So we have 1, 2, and 3. Now to answer problem 1, 2, and 3, we are given the integral of f of x dx from negative 1 to 1, which is 5, and the integral of f of x dx from 1 to 4, which is negative 2, and the integral of h of x dx from negative 1 to 2, which is equal to 7. Now for our first example, kailangan daw nating evaluate c f of x dx from 4 to 1. Now, mapapansin nyo yung ating lower limit ay mas mataas kesa sa upper limit. So, by the property of integral, what you can do is pagbalik ta rin yung limit nyo at magkakaroon ka ng limit of 1 to 4 pero make sure na yung sign ng inyong integration ay mag-iiba. So, from positive, now it's a negative Integration. So now you have the integral of f of x dx from 1 to 4 na totoo dito sa given value natin. Kaya pwede natin siyang um, here na kailangan natin siyang i-replace by negative 2. So now we have negative times negative 2 which gives you positive 4. So the integral of f of x dx from 4 to 1 is equal to 4. Now for, I mean, this is supposed to be equal to 2. Now, sa mga examples natin ngayon, meron tayong integral of f of x dx from negative 1 to 1 is equal to 5. At yung second integral notation natin, which is f of x dx from 1 to 4, which is negative 2. At yung integral of h of, h of x dx from negative 1 to 2 is equal to 7. Now, we need to evaluate number 1, 2, and 3 using the given interval notation. So, dun sa first natin, kailangan daw nating hanapin si integral of f of x dx from 4 through 1. Now, according to our property, kapag ka mas maliit yung iyong uh, upper limit kesa dun sa lower limit mo, kailangan nyo siyang balikta rin. So, pag binaliktad nyo yung inyong interval, magkakaroon ka ngayon ng negative dun sa iyong integration notation. Kaya, from 4 through 1, meron ka na ngayon 1 to 4 of f of x dx, pero negative sign na yung dapat yung magiging sagot. So, now, we know that yung Integral ng f of x dx from 1 to 4 is equal to negative 2. Replace nyo yung integral notation. And don't forget the negative sign. So it's equal to 2. So that means yung f of x dx nyo from, one, from 4 to 1 is simply equal to positive 2. Now on our second integral notation, meron tayong integral of f of x dx from negative 1 to 4. Now mapapansin nyo sa mga given interval or integral natin, wala namang integral from negative 1 to 4, pero merong 
negative 1 through 1 at saka 1 through 4. So, pwede natin itong gamitin using the property kasi yung summation naman, like area under the curve, so, konektado yung dalawang um, integrals natin. Kaya, pwede natin gawin is to add negative 1 or f of x dx from negative 1 to 1 plus integral of f of x dx from 1 to 4. At alam natin, yung ating first integral is just equal to 5 mula dun sa given problem. At yung f of x dx naman natin is negative 2. Kaya 5 plus negative 2 will give us positive 3. At sa last example natin, we have the integral of f of x dx from 0 to 1. Now, kung mapapansin nyo, wala tayo ditong interval from 0 to 1. Kaya hindi natin masasagot yung integral notation na to ng f of x dx kasi we don't have enough information para masagot yung problem number 3. At yan natin, o dyan natin ginagamit yung mga properties of integration para mag-evaluate tayo ng mga um, in interval or integral notation similar to this one.